today, how you can use this amazing technology brought to you by Google in your business to help drive more business. And whether you're a local marketer, whether you're an info marketer, uh, info product marketer, or whether you're an internet marketer, affiliate marketer, you need to start using Google Hangouts in your business. It's the most engaging technology that I've ever seen, and you've got so much flexibility in what you can do in interacting with your audience, and as you can see, I have guests with me today. In fact, let me introduce you to the guests I have today. Um, first of all, we have Barry Plaskow. Barry, how you doing, buddy? Doing great. Can you hear me, Damien? I can hear you loud and clear, sir. So Barry Plaskow is one of my mastermind buddies now for uh, the last 18 months, and we get together at least three times per year, and he is a social media master. He knows he has mastered how to engage viral activity and how to, you know, he's built a lot of amazing technologies for local businesses using social media. So Barry, great to have you on today. I look forward to uh, the nuggets you're going to share to the Go Mobile community today. I can't wait to share them because uh, there's just so much good stuff going on here. So many people are using this stuff and getting results, Damien. I can't wait to go over those nuggets and getting people up and running and really taking action. Excellent, excellent. Also joined with me today, Mr. Mark Gamble. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Damien. How's it going? Can you hear me okay? I can hear you loud and clear, sir. Wonderful. Well, let me uh, explain who Mark Gamble is. So you've seen in the email copy that we sent out, uh, Mark Gamble actually is a Go Mobile reseller, started with us a little over 18 months ago. Um, and for those of you that were at Go Mobile Live back last May, he was there. You may recognize him. That's what's nice about these Google Hangouts. You can actually see us. We're real people. We're right here. <laughs> so anyway, Mark Gamble, is, he's got an amazing story that he's going to share with you today on how he used this technology that you're seeing us on right now and Barry's strategy. Barry and Roger, Roger, Roger's Barry's partner who's not here today, they came up with this strategy and we beta tested it with Mark and Mark just, boom, nailed it. And he's going to show you step by step how he did that and how he landed 30 appointments within 48 hours. So two days, 30 appointments, and he's going to tell you what happened with those appointments and it's really exciting stuff. Some major, major ground-moving uh, progress there, Mark. So. Great to have you on, sir. Thanks for taking the time to share your story with the Go Mobile absolutely, community. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you for inviting me to, and I'm really excited with it. And you know, reality of it is, is anybody can do this. There's nothing mm -hmm. special about special, I know, what I'm doing or what I'm bringing to the table, other than working with you guys and the team and really kind of focusing on this uh, this plan. And it's been awesome. Excellent. Excellent. Well, Okay, sorry about that. You, so how do you want to kick this off, Barry? We've done the intros. Everybody's here. They're ready to rock and roll. This is really designed as the first fulfillment piece for all of the folks that joined us this week with Git Hangout Local. We had well over 100 people join this program this week. I'm really excited about that. And really what we're going to do today is this, is this is your first training piece. Besides what's already in the backend training portal, you're getting live, direct, interactive feedback, so please feel free to ask all the questions you want. We're going to have the chat rolls open, and we'll be all three of us will be answering questions, and we have some other staff in here helping to answer questions as well. So um, one other thing, Barry, I need to let you in on, though. This, this might come as a little bit of a surprise to you, but I went ahead and invited the whole database to this Google Hangout today. Wow. And I hope you don't mind. That's why we have so many people on this Google Hangout today, more than that purchased the program. But the reason why I did it is, is pretty important. The reason why I did it is I think the entire Go Mobile community needs to learn how to use this in their business. It doesn't matter what business they're in. I think there's a way to apply this technology. And I really wanted to invite them as just a way of giving back and sharing some content with my community. So even though they didn't purchase the program, um, I had just invited everybody and hopefully they come and they can get some nuggets that they can go and implement in their business right away. And also, Barry, one of the things that I wanted to do is go ahead and open up Get Hangout Local, which we just closed. I want to open it up for the folks that are attending this Google Hangout um, at basically through the weekend. Is that okay with you? 
makes a lot of sense. And there's some stuff I really wanted to cover today. And I think this is appropriate for everyone, everyone that's joined or even people that are on the fence or haven't yet joined. So looking forward to sharing some great nuggets. And if you guys can, can get, you know, just control the, uh, the questions that are coming in so I don't actually see them, just so I know what they are, you guys hand, handle that. But I've got some stuff I really want to cover here. Excellent, man. Rock and roll. Get them up. All right. So what I'd like to All share. Right. So and what I'd like to share. Uh, there's a little bit of feedback, I think, there. There may be somewhere there's a little bit of feedback. Okay, that's better. Okay, what I want to share with you guys, first and foremost, is why Hangouts are so incredibly powerful. And this is going, if I can just do a quick screen share for a second, I just want to share something yeah. with you. So I think this is really yeah, important. Sorry. Guys, uh, let me know when you can see my screen. Can you see my, my PowerPoint here? Can you see it, guys? I hope I, Damien, can you hear me? I can see it, Barry. All right, awesome. Bye. Okay, so we lost Damien. The excitement is yeah. so great. We lost Damien for a few for a minute there. So that's how <laughs> exciting this thing is. So basically, we're gonna I'm gonna share with you a little bit of a roadmap in a couple of minutes. But I want to ask you guys a question, and a question is the fact is there's no question about it in my mind and what I've experienced with thousands of our own clients, and that is the offline business is a incredible business to be in. It's incredible because you have the opportunity. Even if you're not a great marketing expert, you have the ability to help local businesses to be super successful. So the question is, if the offline business is so great, why aren't more offliners getting massive momentum and building highly successful offline businesses starting off from scratch? And I think there are major reasons why that those who should be more successful aren't as successful as they'd like to be. What do you think? Perhaps you can start writing this in, and Mark, hopefully you can see the chat roll. What are the big reasons that you think that offliners traditionally are not as successful as they know they really should be? And uh, Mark, do you see do you see the chat roll over there? Um, I I have the chat pulled up, but I don't think I have access to the chat roll, so I don't think I see any live chat coming in. All right, okay. So I think Damon's got to have to wait for Damon's internet to to come back. But guys, here are the traditional answers. Okay, that we that we have got. Number one. And that is the, the lacking of a serious plan of action. What is it that they're meant to be doing? Uh, waking up in the morning, not knowing what you're meant to be doing is obviously a horrible place to be. And not having a plan to follow is, is just impossible because, let's face it, most people don't let's have every imaginable skill under the sun and they need to bring in a team to build a killer business. But you can't do that if you don't have a plan. And the second reason yeah. is a lack of accountability because they don't have a plan and number three, it's a lack of confidence because they don't have a plan and they don't know what it is that they're meant to be doing. So here's the interesting thing. And for me, Damien, I hope Damien makes it back at some point. Otherwise, Mark, it's just you and I, buddy. Uh, it seems to me that the biggest problem is that I, I've, I've seen with this lack of a plan has been resolved once and for all because with the Hangouts. Because the Hangout strategy is so simple to implement so easy to get that initial uh, that that initial momentum that you need in your business and that's why this is a standout strategy for me and I know Mark you've tried and tested multiple strategies you've you've invested in multiple programs over the last couple of years you've tried things you're an action taker Mark but I know the conversation that I had with you is that you thought this was the biggest game changer of all because of the easy adaptability to be able to go out take action and get deals done. I mean, well, perhaps you can just add to that. You know, absolutely, Barry. The um, reality of it is, is I've spent uh, quite a number of years in internet marketing, and the hardest part that I've run into is getting business owners to see the vision that we internet marketers see and get out of the rut of the old-fashioned way of trying to market and promote their business. And I've grabbed every type of tool and you know shiny object under the sun uh, but really and truly um, about 18 months ago um, I was introduced to go mobile and the uh, pro, uh, the app project that uh, Damien has and I, 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 I knew I nailed something but it was hard to get a, a business owner to take the time and start focusing on developing a custom app I, I was pretty successful I sold you know a handful of custom apps uh, early on 
but it was just, I was on the hamster wheel. I was going over and over again trying to get another appointment and another sale, and it was just such a challenging way to uh, build my business. I wasn't really building my business. I was just kind of working, working, working really hard, but it, it, nothing was really sticking. Um, and then, uh, what was it, Barry, maybe about uh, a month and a half or two months ago, we, we rolled out this whole Hangout thing, and, and I was introduced to that from you and, and from Roger, and it, it was natural for me. I mean, I've spent a lot of time uh, doing video um, on the internet, uh, video marketing and everything else. And when I saw what Google is doing with the Hangouts and what you guys are doing with kind of tying it all together and, you know, really kind of putting this in a nice, neat little package, I knew this was, this was something that I could easily implement, that I could easily approach a business, get them to see exactly what it was that uh, the value was in for them and then even do, you know, even roll out some, you know, complimentary value-added services for them so they can kind of get it ex exposed to it firsthand. And then all of a sudden things just started to jail. I mean, it just, it just took off from that point. And it was so easy for me to then naturally move into my upsells. Hey, I was, you know, I was looking at your business and I'd like to talk to you about mobile because now I'm a trusted and valuable partner in those businesses as opposed to, Somebody knocking on the door and trying to sell them the next uh, the next shiny object as well. So it exactly. was very 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 good, guys. I mean, Mark, let's share this with everyone. There are four big reasons, and hopefully you can see my screen again. But there's four major reasons why offliners are having problems, and this once and for resolves. And let's go over why this resolves the problems. Number one, offliners fail simply uh, because it's hard for them uh, to get through the worst types of gatekeepers. It's just impossible sometimes to get past gatekeepers sometimes from hell whose entire process, their entire purpose is to be there to stop you from getting to the business owner. Now, let's share with everyone why this is probably the easiest way to get past gatekeepers. Let's go through this step by step, guys, and I hope you've got this because we've had people literally the end of our training sessions that have gone off to actually start building their business. So this is it. This is why it is so much easier than anything else uh, out there. And it's simple, simply like this. With a Hangout strategy, you've got yourself a blog. You look like a complete superstar because you've got yourself a great blog, and that's what every Hangout member has now got. So you can already show them that you are serious because you've got this blog. Secondly, what you're saying is that you're interviewing them. You want to interview them because they've got a great business, and you know, by the way, they've got a great business and they have money in that business. They have lots of clients. Otherwise, you're not going to interview them. And you want to give them publicity. You want to put them on your blog. You want to give them great publicity in the local area. That is it. Now, because of that, it's going to be very hard for a gatekeeper not to put you through to the business owner because otherwise they're probably going to get fired. You're giving them away free publicity. So it's so easy to get through gatekeepers. I, for me, uh, uh, Mark, that is the biggest reason. Number one, you can get through practically every single time. Now, in your experience, how many times did you get through out of the amount of times you tried? How many times has your team, because now you've, the second point is that it's so easy to scale this thing up. How many problems have your team had in getting through, to, through the gatekeeper and to the business owner? So before I actually give like a quantifiable number, let me let me just kind of uh, add on to what you just said. Sure. The the reality of it is is in, in for everybody listening, I, I want to make sure you understand how to position yourself and how to posture yourself when you're approaching these businesses. Realize that no business, none of the businesses that you're going to be re reaching out to, none of them are getting calls from the local newspaper, from the local TV station, from the local radio station, from the local magazine companies. No company is getting calls saying, we want to interview you. So right off the bat, you automatically separate yourself from all of the traditional calls that they are receiving. Oh, we'll get you the first page of Google. And right. oh, well, so right off, instantly, you have separated yourself out from all the other riffraff that's calling the office. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that no matter how big the company is, no matter how popular the company is, no matter how um, you know, well-known the brand is, they can't do this without you. And, and let right. me give you a great example. I mean, let's take a, a very popular celebrity like a Tom Cruise or a Will Smith. They've got their next movie coming out. 
Can they interview themselves about their next movie? It's impossible. They have to have somebody else that's going to ask the questions to them so that they can have a conversation and a story to, to give to that audience. And that's why what we're offering is so absolutely valuable that literally my entire team is able to position themselves, posture themselves in a way that never before was possible. And uh, I think we uh, ended up uh, you know, reaching out to about 32 businesses and uh, we uh, confirmed 30 appointments inside of 48 hours. So I don't know what the numbers, I don't have my calculator, but what is that, like 98% right through past the gatekeeper because they said, hey, my boss has to hear this. Hold on. Let me get you on the line with them. Or better yet, here's my boss's mobile number. It absolutely is a game changer. Well, awesome. You know, the, the big difference, too, is you're actually giving results in advance. You're, you're coming to them without the same tried, played out, hey, I need to get you to top of Google, like you said, Mark, or hey, we need to get you mobile optimized. I mean, all those things are getting hit up with by net right now. But like you said, no one's hitting them up saying, hey, your local community needs to hear about what you do. I mean, that was one of the things I really liked, Barry, was, you know, it's like the approach of, hey, I was looking online and I noticed you're the best, let's call it, uh, give, me, give me one, throw me, throw me anything. Chinese restaurants. I was, that's what I was trying to do, something different than a Chinese <laughs> restaurant. That you, know what, you're, you know what? This is great. You're the best Mercedes-Benz dealership in the area. You can talk to the largest companies. No. Nobody, nothing can stop right. you. Good point. So you're the best business for what you do in your local area, and the whole community needs to hear about it. And I can help you do that. Oh, really? How's that? Well, I want to interview you, and I want to make sure that the community gets to know all the good things about your business. And I've got this blog, and I've got this community, and I've got this all this stuff that we're going to put you and get you out in front of, and we're going to let you offer a discount or a promotion or something to entice new customers to come in your front door. This strategy right here is um, I'm trying to figure out what I can compare it to, but it's like it's selling but not selling. It's like you're, you're literally just, you know, who wouldn't want the community to know about their business? Who wouldn't exactly. want a way to offer a promotion to get new customers? I mean, they're paying for that. You're basically telling them you're willing to do this for free. Who wouldn't want to do it? So the whole conversation from the get-go, you know, the, the, the guard is down. It's not the typical, what do you want? And, you know, and I don't know if he's going to be available and all that. It's like, oh, really? I'm sure he's going to love to talk to you. Like you said, give, give you the mobile number even. So, Mark... One of the things that uh, I was really excited about was the results. You know, it's one thing to get 30 appointments, and it's another thing to turn that into cha-ching. So share with everybody what you were able to do this last month off those 30 appointments. Well, I, I, I've, I've got to just be candid. So um, what happened is about a month ago, so a month and a, a, month or, and a half, maybe two months ago, um, I started reaching out to the businesses and started uh, talking to them about uh, doing the interviews. Um, and I got instantly a, a, a whole groundswell of, of folks that raised their hand and said, yes, we'd love to be interviewed by you. Yes, we'd love to be interviewed by you. Um, and I started trying to organize, you know, setting up my day and doing that. And then I connected with Barry and Roger and really kind of sat down. And to the way that Barry alluded, we, we nailed a plan. We, we talked specifically about, you know, the next steps after you get – the business to be interested because you know who wouldn't say no. I mean, getting the business interested. I'll just be straight up honest with everybody listening. It's not hard. That's that's not even the the, the, the challenging part. And of this by the way, time. that's the hardest part. Most of our resellers are no longer. <laughs> that's out. I mean, that's gone. All that is is, is over and done with. You can easily have a one on one chat with the business owner it, willfully. They, they they willfully want to sit down and talk with you. Um, but the next step is is actually converting, as you said, converting that into cha-ching. I mean, we we've got to you know we've got to have revenue, cash flow coming in in order for us to you know grow our business. Um, but working together with the specific plan uh, with Barry, with Roger, uh, and with you, and really just kind of making sure that there was a, um, a, a an end an end goal in mind. Um, I actually told my business owners, give me a minute. I kind of jumped the ship here. I, 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 I just wanted to test to see if you guys were interested in it, and clearly it was, uh, you know, it was an overwhelming success. Give me about 30 days to really kind of put together something a little bit more strategic and a little bit more uh, impactful, and working with Barry and Roger and getting the you know, Hangout blog set up and everything else of that nature, 
um, really is what I wanted to do before I actually sat down with the client. But before I put them on hold, I specifically said, let's make sure that I can get revenue promises for some revenue coming in. I, at least if I can get some verbal promises that they're willing to pay for something, then I know that the time that I invest over the next two, three weeks kind of putting some of these things together, it, it, it's worthwhile. And, uh, you know, there's, a, there's a, a posturing shift that I have to make. I have to move away from being seen as just this interview guy to being seen as a value-added marketing resource for these businesses that I'm talking to. And the way that I did that is by letting them know that the best thing to do, if you're going to do a, a viral interview uh, and you're going to get this out and it's going to show up on Google and it's going to show up on YouTube and it's going to show up on Facebook and blogs and everything else, is you have to have a viral coupon offer. You have to have something that brings businesses to come into your business or your, I mean, bring customers to come into your business as opposed to just watching the video and then going on and doing something else. So come up with a great offer and let's talk about a viral coupon that can be shared with the viewers of the, of the uh, interview so that now you've got a way to bring them in. But more importantly, that you've got a way to build your marketing list, that you've got a way to get folks to start building your Facebook community, get folks to start talking about your business on Facebook so that all their friends can see it. So doing a quick little demonstration of you know, what a viral coupon can do for them is what I really just did. And I told them, hey, look, you know, I can turn around, I can add this to your, uh, to your viral interview. And uh, at the end of the interview, uh, when we say, hey, you know, get the 50% off the free massage or, or whatever it is, tell them to click the link below and sign up for the, uh, the viral coupon. And uh, that gets you their contact information, that builds your list, and that allows you to start leveraging the marketing tools. And they said, great, well, what's that cost? I said, uh, 300 bucks a month. And because I'm approaching businesses that I know can pay me, I mean, I'm strategically looking at I'm not just taking the any little mom and pop shop that's out there trying to struggle. I know I can go into the Mercedes-Benz dealership. I can sit down and I can talk to the large franchise resource in the area. I know they have money. I know they can pay. 300 bucks is nothing for them to say, sure, go ahead, add that, turn I don't have to worry about building the list. I don't have to worry about getting names and numbers. All that's done for me automatically. I got 80% of the people that I talked to up front to agree that $300 a month, Damien, a month, was okay for us to add on to the um, viral, add the viral coupon component up front onto the, uh, yeah, what, what is that, Damien? So $7,000 a month that's already cool. commitment. <laughs> now, look, here's the thing I absolutely love about this, okay? So, first of all, you, you know, you, you knocked down the doors and you got it to the decision makers and you got 30 of them to agree to an appointment and an interview. And as you went through the process, and you were beta testing, so it's it's no secret why you know you still had to get the blog to come up and all these other things. I mean, we we're beta testing. Then you very simply said the best way to capitalize off this interview that I'm going to do for you is to use a coupon. I mean, it's like you, you got two choices: we can do the interview for you, or we can do the interview for you, and you can also offer a coupon. Well, of course, they're going to want to take that, and then you simply now have this technology for $300 a month, which is a drop in the bucket for these businesses. Remember what they're spending on the Yelp pages right now for some of them that are, and they're not getting any results. And by the way, just so that all of you know that joined GetHangoutLocal.com this week, that are a part of this program, you know I was able to get Barry to throw in that amazing technology, that coupon technology that he created. They normally charge $100 per month fee to have that, and he threw it into the program with Get Hangout Local. So, that's the marriage of the strategy and getting in to the business owner and getting the interview set up and the coupon, which is a no-brainer. Well, of course I want to leverage this audience in this interview. Yeah, sure, I'd love to use your coupon. I mean, the marriage of those two strategies is amazing. And by the way, Mark, and I'm sure you can let everybody know that that is just scratching the surface of your plans with those 30 clients or call it 24 clients or whatever, right, Mark? Absolutely, absolutely. What are you planning to do next? So, so as I as I said, I wanted to get them to shift from thinking about me as a 
um, interviewer or just a salesperson and to start thinking about me as a value added resource for their business to help them start to help them start addressing and dealing with a lot of the marketing challenges that they don't have time to deal with and, and, and things you guys all know things change so rapidly in the marketing landscape today that it's absolutely crucial for somebody at a business to be responsible for thinking about what they need to do so for me it's it's such a natural conversation to have. There's no sales involved in this. It's a natural conversation to have to you know call that business up owner up a week later. No longer am I saying Mr. Business Owner. I'm calling them by the first name because I just spent 10 or 15 minutes doing an interview with them, getting to know them, getting to, them to trust and know and like me. So now I can say, Hey, John, and and, and everybody, this is a, a little ninja nugget here. And, and usually we, I reserve this for you know the folks that I work very very closely with, but. You know, Damien, you guys have been so good to me, and, and, and Barry, you guys literally have opened up the kimono and helped me. I want to pay it forward and help other folks as well. This little nugget actually will change the way the business owner looks at you from the, go, or the onset, and they don't even know that you're doing it. It's one of the little psychological NLP things. If you say to the business owner, John, this is a week later after you're delivering, you've delivered their, their Hangout video, you've given their the video, you've given them the embed code so they can put that video, that Hangout uh, video into their blog or into their website themselves. And you say, you know, John, I was thinking about your business last night before I went to bed. And pause for a second. And all of a sudden, like a gut sucker punch in their belly, they say, oh my God. That's what I do. I wake up in the morning and I think about my business. I go to bed at night and think about my business. And all of a sudden, here's this other guy who's telling me he's thinking about my business too. In bed. Not during business hours, right, right before I go to bed. And that totally changes the way that they look at me now. And then when I say, you know, I was pulling up your website, I drove by, the, I drove by your, your dealership or I drove by your, uh, your, 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 your Chinese restaurant or whatever the other day and I was pulling up your, your restaurant on my iPhone and I have to be honest with you, John, it was a painful experience. You know what I did? I came in this morning, I asked my team if they had a few minutes, they owed me a favor, if they had a few minutes, if they could just throw a quick mock-up together that I can turn around and show you. You have a few minutes. I want to stop by with some coffee and donuts or with some sandwich. I just want to show you what I, I was thinking about and share a few ideas with you. Boom. Instantly, I am a trusted value partner. I'm coming with more value. I'm, I didn't have to ask them, oh, would you like me to da 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 There was all of a sudden here's this gift, this favor that just fell out of the sky because I reached out and called them a week, two weeks later. And I can do that every month. The next month, hey, you know what? I've been thinking about you. You can change it up a little bit. You were on my mind last night. You know, I woke up in the morning. I couldn't stop thinking. All that just continues to let them know they've got a partner. And you know what that tells them? I don't have to think about this stuff anymore. Yeah. I can now focus on my business, and I know Mark's going to call me a month later and tell me a new idea. I don't have to take you up on that new idea, but now I've got an easy path for upselling anything that I want to upsell to them, and it's, no, it's not a pitch. I don't have to put PowerPoint presentations together and proposals. I don't have to wait for them to say, oh, you know what, I'm going to evaluate what you said and then compare what you said to what three other companies like you do. All that goes out the window. In their mind, they've already nailed, you're my guy, and I have, you have value with, with my business, and I want to keep you close to me. Totally Guys, the game. there's such an important point here that I hope everyone here that's watching this is getting, and that is what Mark has done and what we've done with this Hangout strategy is that we've created an instant relationship with these business owners. This is a relationship that would probably take you months to cultivate. You are immediately, by virtue of you having this blog, you're offering these questions in this interview, you are automatically positioned as a marketing expert in their eyes. And you're not selling, as Damien has said a bunch of times, a single thing. You're just getting them to do an interview for them. It's in their interest, not in your interest. It's for them. So for Mark then to call up and say what he just said, which is a ninja strategy beyond belief, that is a piece of cake. It's a walk in the park. And, there you go. And, you know, if we use our low-hanging fruit strategy and you're doing this in your local area, think about it when you're going to the restaurants that you've been going to for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Think about it when you're going to your hairdresser, your chiropractor, your doctor, your dentist. Each and every one of you that are on this hangout, 
probably have a couple dozen businesses that you do business with on a regular basis. And if yeah, you yeah. didn't have the balls to go and talk to them about mobile marketing and all the things that we do before, would you now, when you can come with the approach of, you know, I've been coming, eating here for the last 20 years, I love this place, and I now have a way to get the word out. Would you mind if I interview you, John? You know what I mean? It's like, imagine how more powerful this strategy is to your low-hanging fruit. So my recommendations for you and using Google Hangouts and quickly getting off the dime and making money is to go after your low-hanging fruit with this strategy. Let that be your first half dozen interviews and get your area started. And then all the strategies that you're going to learn from myself and Barry and Roger, and we're even going to have Mark do some stuff since he's been able to exploit this stuff beyond what we're teaching. So you're going to be able to take those strategies and then expand out. You'll go outside of your warm market. You'll start using the GoMobile lead machine. You'll start finding the right types of businesses, like Mark suggests, the businesses that you know are profitable or have a good return. When they have one customer walk in the door, it means more than a few bucks. You know, and, and you start strategically going after them, and you pull their information. You reach out to them. And see, Mark, I know why you're scaling now. I know why you're scaling. You got bit by the bug. You got 30 appointments in two days. It took you 18 months to get 30 appointments. You got 30 appointments in two days. So clearly, you've done the math to figure, well, hell, if I just turn the gas up on that, that could really look like 60 appointments. And I certainly, Mark, I'm speaking for you, I certainly can't go out and hit 60 appointments this week. So that's why you're scaling. This becomes a massive, get this, write this down. If I get involved in this Get Hangout Local offer and I implement this in my business, I have a massive lead generator. And I'm not talking about just using the Go Mobile lead machine and pulling up leads. That's a massive lead generator, but it's not a lead generator ready to give you money yet. This is an advertisement when you're hiring people, sales reps decide to join your organization when you can provide the leads. If you've ever seen Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, or any of those old sales leads, it's like, who's got the leads, baby? Because that's where they want to go. And when you're cranking out 30, 40, 50 appointments, over the course of a week, you can keep a sales floor fed and you can keep them banging at the door wanting to work for you. And talk about a warmed up lead. I mean, my God, there's, there's, a lead, there's a lead that calls in because I have an advertisement in direct mail that says, you know, your advertising sucks or you need some help, give me a call. Well, when they call you, that's a pretty good lead. But how about the lead where you interview them, you get them in front of the community, you give them a coupon, you let them offer their stuff to the community, instantly you have SEO juice with their keywords for their business that they can see within 24 hours or, or, or less that they're bumped up to the top of Google. Now give that lead to a sales rep. Give that lead to a sales rep. Now the sales rep comes in saying, hey, how'd you like all this stuff that we've done for you? And then very easily start to go into the other areas of marketing that need help. This is where you then incorporate the investigative selling that we've taught you, Mark, and that we teach our whole community, is when now that you're already, we've already got through the door, they already know, like, and trust you, you've already delivered results in advance, they're right where you want them, now you implement the investigative selling techniques where you start asking them things and you basically find out what they need next. And, you know, the sky's the limit. We've got social media that everybody needs help with. We got mobile optimized presence they need help with to acquire customers. We got mobile applications to engage customers. We've got mobile SEO to get their mobile sites ranked and their regular sites ranked. There's so much we can be offering. This is a strategy right here that just opens the doors to you know six figures plus in income monthly. Unstoppable, completely unstoppable. And we've noticed with all of our clients, Damien, and this is my being my experience. And I'm just going to talk frankly and a little bit of a personal anecdote because I think it's going to relate to everyone that's watching this right now. I, I know Mark was the same way starting out, purchased way too much stuff on my hard drive for probably about two years plus. I didn't know how to put it together, how to make money from this thing. I thought I'd wasted two years of investment, all the stuff that I'd learned and all the products I bought. Guess what? As soon as I got my initial momentum going and I built myself a list, I had leads coming in that were hot. Suddenly, everything I'd ever done, I was able to implement, and that's how I was able to build a six-figure business within a couple of months of getting that initial momentum and a seven-figure business 
just a few months afterwards because I was unstoppable because I had that lead generation. I had warm prospects finally in my hands for the first time. Guys, you've probably purchased a lot of stuff and you may not have the momentum in your business that you want. Now, with this strategy, you've got a foot through the door, you've got instant relationship building, you're sitting there in front of business owners that already perceive you as a marketing expert. Everything that you've now got on your hard drive, everything that you wish you could be able to sell, you've suddenly got a captivated audience that you can sell it. And the beauty of what we're saying here with Google Hangouts is there is a logical progression of upsell because you get them immediately into a viral coupon. You're building them a social community. Guess what? Who's going to handle that social community? You've got an email list. Who's going to handle the emails? The business owner that hasn't got a minute of his day left to do that. Who's going to do that? You're the obvious person that can handle that. And this is an obvious upsell list of things that you're now going to move into. And that's what Mark's experience, and he's very clever about this. Instead of just jumping into this and just trying to make some money up front, he sat back, built a strategy with Roger and I, and is now going out to absolutely nail it and kill it. And that's something else that he's got going for him, that he's willing to have taken that deep breath and is going to start really applying it on force at this moment. So, guys, that is the beauty of this, and I just want to add that because I think that's an amazing point, that yeah. finally, everything you've done, it can fit together in one coherent package. And, and get this. You only have to do 10% as good as Mark did in his first run on this. I mean, I showed you guys the math, and uh, hold on here. I showed you guys the math, and at $300 a month with all of those clients that have given him a commitment, sure, Mark, I'd love to go that next step. That's $86,000. Wait, there we go. $86,000 per year. That's two days worth of leads. That's two days worth of leads. I mean, just do 10% as good as Mark did, and this is basically $86,000 uh, potentially monthly without doing any mobile SEO, without doing any SEO, without any social media, no mobile application, no mobile website. We haven't even talked about that. Two days worth of customers is a six-figure business for Mark. Just do 10% of what he did with the strategies and the technology and do it again and again and again, and that's how to get out of the rat race. That and, is and, how to make a difference. Let me let me throw this in just to add on to that, just to really kind of you know crystallize it for everybody. Again, you know, uh, I, I'm out there. I'm I'm the guy that's getting the door slammed on and, and, and trying to get into the gatekeeper. Getting these coupons quote sold to the business up front, even before I do the hangout, even before I actually physically meet with the business. Making sure that you that they understand that this is it's it's a commitment because your video your your viral interview video is going to live on YouTube forever. It's going to live on my blog. It's going to live on your website. It's going to live on Facebook. It's going to be seen over and over again for a long time. So you need to get your those customers to engage with you in a at least a six month contract. So don't let them just go month to month on that three hundred dollars. Have them sign their name on the dotted line that they're going to agree to at least six or twelve month contract, so you can know you can hold that eighty six thousand dollars in your hand and know I just signed eighty thousand dollars worth of deals from one month's worth of work. And I say one month because let's be realistic. I mean, you know, nobody's going to go out there and try and kill it in, in, in two days. And and if you put realistic goals in front of yourself, it becomes much more accomplishable. And then understand. And, and, and again, a little ninja tech, tech uh, little ninja secret here. There's no fulfillment. I don't have to do anything else for the next eight months. Maybe tweak a, a coupon here or there, but I don't have to do anything. I don't have to write anything. I don't have to create, change anything. There's no fulfillment, and the business is. I, I provide them with graphs and, and and statistics on how well their coupon is doing, but I don't have to work. I don't have to. I can now focus my time on bringing in more customers. Totally, totally phenomenal, guys. I, I absolutely hat goes off to all of you guys who helped me really kind of crystallize this and bring it to fruition. And I just hope this resonates with those folks that are, are kind of stuck and, and maybe even depressed with not figuring out how do they tie all the stuff that they've invested in together. This is it. This, this is the way to do it. It's not a magic bullet, but this is the way to do it, period. Bar none, I'm going to hang my hat on it. And your bank account, too. <laughs> and my bank account. Barry, can't hear you.
Oh, sorry, man. I just wanted to say there's there's one other thing I think that's really important to the conversation. One of the worst things that happens to marketers online and offline is when they lose confidence in themselves and what they're doing. Then no one, it's very difficult to convince a business owner or anyone online or offline in any shape or form if you aren't confident about what you're doing. And it's a good reason why many people aren't confident about what they're doing because they don't believe 100% in what they are doing. They're not sure they can generate the results for business owners that they're promising them. As a result, they feel uncomfortable about the whole relationship. Here's the other thing. If you, just by writing out, literally, you put a title on your Google Hangout and you can get like we did for our two tests we did live in front of our audience, within 23 hours, we're at the top of Google. Within 59 minutes, we were number three for Google for a search term that had 168,000 people uh, searching for it. Um, then you suddenly starting to feel that you're confident about this. If you could talk to, as Mark said, to a dealership that otherwise would never look at you in the face, they don't have time for people like you. But if when you if you had a strategy that they are going to listen to you because they know if you, they don't work with you, someone else is going to, and that's the beauty of the strategy. You give this exclusivity for that specific niche. This is the Mercedes the team that I'm going to be working with. You don't want to work with me? I'm going to put and my emphasis on someone else. They know they don't. If you if they don't work with you, you're going to nab someone else. It's very difficult for them to say no. When you have this sense of power that you can choose finally who you work with. Forget about making money. Making money is one thing. As I always say, there's only one thing worse than not making money. It's making money and still being miserable afterwards because you think that's going to make you happy and it doesn't because you then are controlled by your clients. But figure this one out. If you can control who you work with because you have the power to choose, I want to work with this because this is a great company. I believe in this product. I believe in their service. And you can walk away if someone doesn't treat you the way you want to be treated because you're just going to find someone else to replace them. You are suddenly taking complete control of your business. And that perhaps is the greatest confidence booster imaginable. When that happens, you suddenly see the difference between a Damien who is a super confident person, a Mark who clearly is exuding confidence, myself who's confident about what I do. Why is that? Because we all know what we do. We do it damn well. You now have something that you can do damn well because it's a piece of cake. It doesn't require any selling. Imagine waking up knowing you having that power. If you have that, you have confidence, you are going to become unstoppable. And this, Damien, is what we're seeing with Mark. Other people, there are people off the, the training that we did together, Damien, that went out and closed a deal on the spot, some on the actual webinar, which is absolutely ridiculous. Why is that? Because it's just simple. We give them the scripts, everything they need to do, the email scripts. I don't even have to make a phone call to get the initial list through. Uh, I mean, it's, it's easy, it's confidence boosting, and it works. And Barry, let me just, if I can, just real quick, Damien. Barry, the reality of it is, is that you, as you said, you should be confident. Nobody's going to call that dentist or that dealership tomorrow or the next day and say, I'd like to interview you. Unlike, so literally, you should be absolutely confident that you can say, hey, if you don't want to do this, no big deal. I've got other, there, there's other dealerships that have four or five stars on Yelp that I have on my list to call. You're not the only dealership in the area that has, but I'm the only guy calling you asking for an interview. So you decide, do you want to work play with me or not? You know, Mark, the reason why that is, and because this is obviously a great strategy, right? I mean, now, now that we've opened up the, you know, kimono here and shown everybody the strategy, I mean, it's obviously a great strategy. The reason why a lot of people aren't doing it yet, one, Google Hangouts is new and people really are just getting to understand it, but what is the other way possible that we can all think of right now on this Hangout to actually pull this off? Like, you could do a go-to webinar, but then what, you know, I, I don't know. There, there's plenty of reasons why that doesn't work in my mind. What, what are, what are, I mean, you know, this, we finally have our own radio show, our own TV show. It's oh, like my goodness. Google's oh giving my. our own TV show to be able to do whatever the hell we want here, you know, with internet. You just produced a 10x strategy right there. All right, guys, listen to what Damien just said. Imagine, okay, you want to do this on, literally on steroids? You do exactly that. You got your blog that Google Hangouts that our Hangout Local provides you. You get your blog, and what would you? What if you could provide ten minutes of content once a week on that blog, which becomes like your show that you're giving away to local businesses on mass? 
suddenly, not only have you got these interviews, and you're interviewing as Mark tells you, you're, you're working with sophisticated businesses, so you're already perceived as a real marketing expert, because who else is working with Mercedes-Benz in town? Do you understand by getting that interview, which is benefiting Mercedes-Benz, and that's why they're going to agree to it, do you understand how that positions you in the marketplace? You yeah. are now the guy to go to when it comes to local marketing, because you're sitting there with the biggest. Now, guess what? Damien just said, go create that little show once a week, 10 minutes a week, 20 minutes a week, and suddenly you're showing what an expert you are. And you don't have to teach sophisticated stuff. That's the stuff you already know. I mean, Damien, that there, I mean, you're unstoppable at that point. Well, one of the things that I learned from some of the greatest marketing minds in the world um, that, that I've followed over the years, I mean, some of the best, and one of the things that I learned is that Hey, you know, if you're not an expert at X, Y, and Z, then you could be a reporter of X, Y, and Z and actually be perceived as the expert. And, and you can apply that right here because you're not the expert at running a car dealership. You're not the expert at running a Chinese restaurant and what makes it the best Chinese restaurant. And you're certainly not an expert at being a pediatrician or a dentist or an orthodontist or whatever, but they are. And they're local community experts. And when you interview all of them, you're, you're basically getting their information into the marketplace. You're perceived as the local marketing guy, and you're also an expert, a marketing expert. And think about this. The more and more interviews you put in your boston.areahangout.com, which everybody that joined this program, um, you've got your own local area, and you were able to get some other areas as well if you wanted. But what you're able to do is drive more and more eyeballs. Talk about the AOL model. He with the most eyeballs wins, right? So it's all about eyeballs, eyeballs, eyeballs. Think of the value. This real estate that you get involved in today, think of how it builds equity over time. And think about how it builds viewership over time. It's, it's no different than TV, radio, and all this. The more the viewers, the higher the, the prices of advertising. So right now you're offering free interviews and you're offering $300 a month coupons, Mark. But once you build this massive local community area hangout, you're going to be charging a lot more, and I doubt you'll have time for free interviews. You know what I mean? Think about that. It's a great point. You know? Great oh, point. Go ahead. It's very valuable, and you could start charging big advertisers big money. Think, I'm just thinking long term here, Barry, thinking down the road. I want to show you exactly how you can make that happen, all right? Right now, it's so freaking simple because with the package that you get, you also get the flyers that business owners can actually give and the table cards they can actually put in front of their own clients. So imagine I'm going to go back to the boring Chinese restaurants, right? Guess what happens? You do the interview and, you, and you've created that viral coupon for them. You say, okay, you want to bring more business into your, into your restaurant? This is what you do. You give out this flyer. You put these on the, these table cards where you're going to be giving away a free drink or free dessert or whatever it is. Get their clients to go and join your community and get the coupon at the same time in order to get the free drink. Guess what's happened? You're building a list for your local clients. You are now have got this local client getting business coming back, and you're building a community for your blog. Repeat that a few times, and suddenly you're sitting in front of your local audience. You as the marketing expert. You do what Damon suggests and create that marketing show 10 minutes a week. Suddenly you're sitting in front of business owners galore because many of the attendees will be business owners and they see you hanging around the great businesses in town. Guess what? They're going to want to work with you. And instead of you having to make the phone calls to make or the emails to get those interviews, people are going to be calling you at that point. Name your price because you're in demand. Yes, yes, and name your price on the other local marketing services that you offer too because you are the local expert of That's helping it. all these businesses to do this stuff. So good, how good, can we get some interaction here from our audience? We've got a huge audience, and I really love it when the chat roll blows up. So here's what I'm going to do. Sorry, Jennifer, I'm going to have to do this to you, but do you guys like what you see here? Do you think that this is the missing piece for you? You know, is this – Finally, a new way to get in that front door. Finally, a new way, uh, we call it the headlights to lead with. Do you think you're going to get more people actually engaged in talking to you about these services and what you're doing? Can you see the SEO juice that you and your site and your client sites will get by leveraging this technology? I'd love to hear it here in the chat roll. And guys, I don't know if you're seeing it. Expert reporters, nice for all the experts. Win, win, win. Very cool stuff, guys. This is community-based, win-win. Excellent. Guys, if you see this, uh, just so you know, we are open 
gethangoutlocal.com. If you want, this is your last opportunity to get it. There will be no more webinars. There will be no replays. There will be no posted replays. This really is your last chance to be a part of that first tranche of customers that come in to the yourcity.areahangout.com. Claim your real estate right now at gethangoutlocal.com. And immediately, once you do that, you're going to select your city, okay, and it'll be yours. You will control that area. And immediately, you'll start. You'll get access to the training from Barry and his partner, Roger, and you'll learn exactly what you need to do right after this Easter holiday, what you need to do on Monday, because the following Monday from next Monday, the world looks much different. If you put this stuff to work on Monday, mark my words, if you take action, the only way I want you getting involved in this is if you're committed to taking action, period. This is the easiest thing to take action with then what will happen over the course of the week is you'll get those initial appointments, you'll learn what to say next, what to do next, and all the back end will be taken care of by us. And that following Monday, that following Monday, if you just take action, you will have several people committing to you to pay you for that coupon just like they did for Mark. And it may not be worth 80 grand a year to you right off the bat, but heck, even eight grand a year wouldn't be bad, right? So it's, it's, it's a way of getting started. So join us and let's have some fun with this. Great. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what it comes down to. It's taking action. Taking action to be part of this. And here's the advantage. If I can share with you, Damien, those people are going to join us. As you mentioned, we've got way over 100 people that have joined us. This blog, when we have people creating these videos, is a, right now on fire. And you get a piece of the real estate of that fire because you control your local area on a, on a site that's got all these interviews taking place, getting all the collective juice from Google, and we all know Google loves Hangouts because they own Hangout technology, and they know the interaction that Hangouts generate, so they absolutely love it. Imagine having your own real estate in this mega blog that's getting all of this traction, and that is the big advantage for you to joining today, because you're going to be part of this. and. Uh, I can't reiterate, Damien, the beauty of having the strategy in the back of your pocket being perceived as the local marketing expert. But there's one thing I do want to add, because there are some people out there, like myself when I started out, that just don't like interviewing. So how do you do this without interviewing? Well, guys, you're, you've got in front of you the exact questions you need to ask. So if you can take a piece of paper that's got a couple of questions on that and can ask the questions that we supply for you, then that is it. To get started, that's enough. If you can read, then it's enough. And if you can't read, we actually have a video describing what those questions are, so you can just write them down for yourself. It's as simple as that. You read out the questions that we suggest. So anyone could do that. You don't need to be an interviewing master. You don't. You need to be able to read and ask questions and sound like you care about local businesses. That's it. And I know that most of you here, I know this is a fact, have the greatest desire to help. That's why you're in this business. You want to help. I know in your heart you want to help. You want to go out there and provide value for local businesses. You may up to this point have never felt confident 100% that you really can help, which is why you've never really taken as much action as you would like. Here's the opportunity to really make a difference to local businesses that need you, and no one else is doing this. That's the beauty of this. That's awesome. I've got some questions for you, Mark. So out of the 30 appointments, what business type was, you know, the majority or what, you know, what did you, what were the business types that you targeted? Um, well, it, it, it kind of spanned the whole map. Uh, there's definitely restaurants and uh, the retailers. And, and let, let, let's just be frank, you really should be focusing on businesses that are, you know, are, are, are servicing the consumer. So um, a lot of nail salons and hair salons and um, restaurants. So, I mean, that, that made up the majority of them. And when I started seeing that come in, then I had the comp confidence to then turn around and start uh, moving a little bit upstream, like starting to talk to dentists and chiros. And I even have two facial plastic surgeons that are interested in doing this. And, 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 and guys, they get eight to $10,000 a case. So if they were to turn around and even get one deal come in or one new patient come in and they had to even, you know, give a 30, 40, 50 percent discount, that's still five or six thousand dollars that they put in their pocket, which, and I didn't really allude to this, I start at 297. 
for the larger companies with the larger uh, price points that they that they receive, it's they're happy paying five ninety seven, six ninety seven for a, a service because they're usually paying a thousand dollars a month for newspaper ads. They're usually paying three thousand dollars for direct mail campaigns, and they do this every single month. I changed who was coming to me, and I switched switched up, and I started figuring out who I was wanted to approach. And it really it dawned on me when I realized, you know, I can I can walk in any business, any business, and I'm in San Francisco, guys. I mean, well, we've got some massive businesses here. Think, think about what you did. So you 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 looked at this and you said, okay, I got to take the easy road here. I got to let's go to some you know some nail salons. Let's go to some restaurants. We'll make it simple. I mean, a coupon. Who wouldn't in that business type? Who wouldn't want to offer a coupon out to the local community, right? I mean, that's they they struggle for that one extra customer. So you you figured it out, and then you realized, wait a minute. This is like the secret sauce. This, this stuff is good, man. You know, I didn't have the confidence to go to the plastic surgeon, but now I do. And you know what you're doing, Mark? I know you know what you're doing, but I want to make sure everybody else knows what you're doing. You're now starting to talk about car dealerships, plastic surgeons, and people with much bigger marketing budgets than nail salons. So the, the likelihood of you turning a car, um, a car lot or turning a plastic surgeon into a two thousand dollar or more month per month client on all the different local marketing services mobile marketing services that you offer is a far more likely far greater like right because think about it it's like the nail salon will love it and maybe the highest who get that nail salon is to pay you three hundred dollars a month for the coupon maybe they'll buy a mobile site for five hundred bucks and that might be it but your plastic surgeon could be a $2,500 per month client for all the other stuff you have access to. To, to that point, so I started doing a little bit of investigative uh, research uh, by asking him a few questions. You know, so what is it that you are currently uh, doing to market the, uh, the practice or market the business? And you easily see when you start adding it up that they're spending $5,000. I mean, these companies have fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a year. To invest in marketing their business, if they're making three, five, ten million dollars, they're spending at least five percent of that on marketing, and a, a, a good portion of it should come to me. <laughs> That's excellent. That's excellent. And, and remember, you're going to identify the areas where they're spending money and it's being wasted, because you're going to exactly. be able to figure that out. I mean, you know this stuff now. You've been around for the last couple of years, and you know, you, you've been through all the different training on how to do this stuff. So, so really, it's like if they're spending ten grand a month, and you can find how to save them five grand a month, and then maybe two thousand of that goes to you. That's all day long. Win, win, no win. No brainer. No brainer. Exactly right. So, Absolutely. Here's, here's a question here on the chat room. And by the way, guys, just a tip on how to be able to see the chats while you're on the Google Hangout, like we are giving the presentation. Is I just go ahead and open up another window. I got one of those big monitors here. And I just go right to YouTube and I searched for my name because it ranks and boom, it's there. I click on it live. I, I make sure that this one's on mute. And then once it starts playing automatically, I mute it so there's no echo back and forth. And then I basically expand the questions. So now on my left, I see the whole chat log on one uh, window. And on my right, I've got the whole presentation here. So just a tip there. Um, Someone, Raymond Smith says, I have my first client. Not sure how to upload the video to Hangout. So, Raymond, let me get this straight. You joined us, the Get Hangout Local this week. Please confirm for me. And then, which is your area that you joined under? And then, um, my question is, are you saying that you now have the first business that wants you to interview them? Because if that's the case, I would love to talk to both Barry and Mark here about really what to do next. It's like, so now you've got this client. Now you've got this client ready for you to do an interview. Uh, before his question comes in here on the chat, refreshes Mark, Barry, why don't we give him a suggestion of what happens next? What happens next? Now they've got someone says, sure, I'd love for you to interview me. And keep in mind, this is all brand new, and we're just kicking this whole area hangout um, off now. So either one of you can tackle that one. Awesome. So uh, let me start. And uh, Mark, you've said whatever you want to add to this. Sorry, but I just confirmed for you, Barry. Very sorry yeah. to interrupt. Raymond just confirmed. Yes, he bought. He's a part of our program here, and it's in Tampa Bay. So yes, live. I love this. This is this is a real deal here. Let's get Raymond positioned to crush it this next week or this month here with uh, with this program. Go ahead. 
Absolutely awesome. First of all, Raymond, I just want to say well done uh, for being part of this and even more well done for taking action because that's, that's what's going to get you the results. Keep it going because this is a brilliant start. I mean, it's it's really, really simple. You First, you need to set up a time that you're going to do the interview. So you're going to send them, however you're communicating right now, continue that communicating channel, whether it's by email or by phone. You need to give them two times that you're available over next week in order to do that interview. You don't want to give them too many times because it looks like you're not that busy. Don't give them one time because then you're given the opportunity to say at that time I'm unavailable. So you always throughout your conversation with any business, even though they've agreed to do the interview, you want to make sure that they never perceive you as someone that is not anything other than a true marketing expert. So you're going to give them two dates, two times that you're available to do the interview and you're asking them to confirm when is that best time. So that's number one. Now the actual interview itself, you're going to suggest how this interview should take place. You take a look at the questions that we suggest that you ask and you're going to choose four questions and you're going to say to them, these are the types of questions I suggest I ask you because I really want your business to be perceived by our audience as being something of incredible value and the very best of its type. So you're going to make that suggestion. You're going to get their feedback and whether his name is, let's say the person's name is Jill. So Jill is the owner of this, whatever business this is. These are the types of questions. Do you have other questions, Jill, that you think would really allow you to show, give real value to the local marketplace and will also will position you as, a, as someone that people are going to want to do business with? So you'll get suggestions. If they don't have any, you just maintain the line of the three or four questions that you've got lined up for them. That's perfect. Once you've agreed on the actual interview, you're going to make the following suggestion. Jill, at the end of the interview, what we want to do is make sure that this turns into more business for you. Is that something that you're interested in? She's going to say yes. What we suggest is at the end of the interview, you offer some sort of coupon or some sort of discount in order to attract present clients to come back or new clients or new prospects who are going to be watching our interview that are interested in coming into your place of business. So would you be interested in making more business as a result of his interview? Jill's going to say, Mark, what do you think? Yes. Then you say, okay, what I need from you is a coupon. Now, if you like, we have a viral coupon system that we use that allows you to spread the word about your discount around social media sites. So if you'd like, would you like me to show you what that's all about so I can just show you the power of this? Or if you prefer, and I'll be prepared to do that at cost price, so it's not going to cost you anything ridiculous, but if you prefer to do it yourself, then just let me know how you want this discount thing to work. 99 times out of 100, you've already got the interview. They're already perceived as an expert. They already are impressed because you are different from everyone else out there. It is a piece of cake and a walk in a park to get them to agree for you to do that viral coupon. So what you're going to do is immediately set them up on a, the viral coupon, set it up using our system. takes about a couple of minutes. It's very simple. It's very intuitive. And you are away to the races. That's the initial stage. Damien, unless you want me to stop at the initial stage, I'll go into the second stage in terms of the fulfillment. Is there anything you'd like me to discuss before I get into fulfillment? Can, can I jump in and just add something to that initial stage, if you don't mind? Sure. Excellent. So one of the things that I found actually you know, getting out there and really kind of you know focusing on doing this is that you want to, uh, one, position your, your, your business, your media business as um, one that is uh, in demand. So um, give that per perception of exclusivity and that perception of exclusivity happens with you first saying you know the earliest we can interview you is and set that at least 10 days two weeks in advance because you're going to need a little bit of runway to get a few things in place and and you know th this is a little bit of the of the details here but you're gonna you're going you should also prepare for doing a pre-interview call and that pre-interview call allows you to check with the business owner, make sure they've got a, a webcam and they've got good internet access and that, that you can go over the questions that Barry was talking about. But more importantly, you've got to let them know this is live. There's no edits. There's no retakes in this. So go home and practice these, questions, these answers in the mirror for the next few days before I get you on this interview. Because if you flub up seven minutes into the interview, it's going to be part of the interview. So you want to make sure you give yourself and them enough time to really get prepared, and that also gets them to be excited about the, doing this live video interview. 
They'll start telling their friends, their family, their staff, their customers, so that, you know, literally they'll say, hey, I'm being interviewed live on Google on next Tuesday at 2 o'clock. Here's the link. Go check it out. And it starts to build immediate awareness and publicity even before you actually do the interview. So, so that scheduling thing is really, really key. We found that, you know, we were so excited at first. Hey, let's schedule an interview for tomorrow or as soon as we can. You don't want to do that. You let them know, hey, we don't have time. We don't have a team ready because we're, we're already booked up until next Tuesday or two Tuesdays from now so that you can absolutely prepare yourself and prepare them for success. Because if they don't have a, a polished, great-looking, well, professionally done interview, it's not going to get them business. So you've got to make sure that you set them up to look like an expert professionally. So but on the other hand, I just want to flip the other side, guys, because yes, they want to make sure they do the best they can, but you also need to show them you understand marketing. And marketing doesn't require a Hollywood script. Look at this. We've got three guys together. We're not sitting here with a bunch of notes in front of us. We're having a conversation, helping people and answering questions in lifetime. Damien's wearing his T-shirt. I got a little shirt on, and Mark's got there. You know, he's got the Go Mobile Live. It's a, it's a year out of date. It's 2012. Can you believe it? So, it, despite that, you know, we're having a great time, and we're interacting with you. I'm sure you're getting a lot of value here. So, you need to let them know, as marketer, as a marketer, they don't need. This isn't a Hollywood production. It just needs them to be real. They can make a mistake. They can stumble here and there. That's not going to change anything. But what Mark's saying is just they need to know the type of answer they want to give because this isn't something we're going to edit and edit and edit. In fact, you don't want to edit it. And if they do make a mistake or two, exactly, even if they do make a mistake or two, who cares? It shows it's real. They're real. And that's what social media is all about. This is not Hollywood, right? So as long as you make that clear to them as well. So Mark, everything you said is correct. It may look like Hollywood with us three handsome guys here, but it's not Hollywood. <laughs> well, speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. But uh, those headphones, dude. Those headphones make you look like way cool hip. <laughs> waiting for you to break dance, brother. Those are nice. <laughs> Thank you, you like, Damon. Like, Damon's right? here just to make me feel good. That's why I'm here, just to feel good. Thank you very much. <laughs> but I, I, it's really important though uh, that people realize that again. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. That's what happens in the wireless uh, technology that Damon's using these days. But, <laughs> but the fact is, guys, that if you tell them what between what Mark and I just told you, that positions you even more as an expert. You know exactly how this game plays. You know exactly how the interview's meant to be. This is what's setting you up as an expert. You don't need to know anything. Just do what we say, and it's going to work for you. So that's all that is step number one. We got the interview in place. Now, the actual interview itself... So I want to get into this. Just use a webcam. 99% of laptops today come with a, with a webcam. 99 times out of 100, your local business owner that's going to have a laptop will have a webcam. It's just the, it's just the, light, the, high, the greatest likelihood. So you're going to use your webcam. You're, they're going to use their webcam. And again, we don't need the most professional background. I'm in my home office here. Damon's, uh, goodness knows where he is. He's planet Mars somewhere with a great backboard at, at the back there. Mark is sitting behind his family portraits. I mean, we're not sitting here in, you know, a star-studded office. But it doesn't make a difference because it's real. Again, you want to tell them. It just needs to be real. It could be in their place of business. It doesn't have to be overly sophisticated. And a simple webcam is what works the best. You don't need the example, the David Beckham example, sitting on the sofa with someone who looks like a Hollywood star. That's not necessary. Webcams work incredibly well. So if you don't have a webcam, buy yourself a cheap webcam. That you don't need to get an overly sophisticated one. At 15, 20 bucks, you'd probably be enough. I got one at 40 bucks. Seems to do the job pretty well. That's it. Uh, do the interview. As Mark says, you don't re-record the interview. I mean, you can, but you don't want them to feel, again, they're going to waste your time and spend hours for this production, that you want them to know that you don't have the time to do this again and again and again, positioning yourself every moment, every possibility as the expert who's in demand. That's the way that you'll land them into all the upsells that Mark was talking about and I was talking about before. And one final tip. Make sure you tell them when they talk to look at the camera, not look at themselves down at the in the bottom. I've been trying to <laughs> I don't want to say anything, <laughs> but look at the camera, don't look at the bottom. <laughs> well, the first hangout I did, and I'm sure I did it plenty in this particular hangout, but the first hangout I did, I mean, literally when I watched the replay, I'm looking down like this. <laughs> top of my head. But now, like, I just look at that little green dot, and I know right. that seeing me live and direct. It's really right. Getting used to because right now I'm looking at you, 
but I'm not looking at the camera, right? Right. <laughs> when I Barry, I'm not looking at the camera, but when I look at the green dot, what's up? Exactly. That's that that that's a psychological. You got to make sure that they're they're comfortable. And I think to what Barry was real quick, Barry, just a question here. So when you actually, you know, the first interview for for that restaurant, you know, the first interview that you're going to post up. Um, is it better to have that first interview live with a, with a nice attendance, or does it even matter? Do you just record it with someone with no attendance and then post it up later and then start driving all the traffic to it? What's the exactly. optimum approach? Exactly. You do it just between yourself and the business owner. There's no point having an audience for the, for the live interview whatsoever. No need for it. So you just do the interview. So you're not, you're not really under pressure. And if you really mess up, you can always go into a, a YouTube. You can remove that video and redo it. But again, I don't want your business owner to think that you've got all the time in the world to be able to do that and they've got to get it right as Mark said the first time. So you want them to do a little bit of preparation. So you're just doing the recording between you and the business owner and then you're going to get from Google Hangout, you're going to get a code, an, an embed uh, link. All you need to do is go into your blog and put that link into your blog and bang, your Hangout is now on the blog. So as long as you can copy and paste, that's all you need to do to be able to stick this onto your live blog. You can create the coupon on the blog. That's literally a, a couple of steps, a couple of just fill in what the, what the uh, offer is, exactly what the copy needs to be for the offer, and press the button, and bang, not only do you have the lead page, the, uh, the interview page, you also have the coupon below the interview so that anyone's going to watch the interview automatically is going to get the opportunity to sign up for the coupon. That's how the whole thing goes viral. Don't forget, once you've done the interview, and if you position and you follow what we tell you about how to do the interview, that you're making the business look great, then of course that business owner is going to want to share that interview with all of their clients. You've got the flyers already ready. They're going to give those flyers to their clients, or they're going to make table mats or, or table placements if they're in a restaurant for everyone that goes into that business, and they get them to watch the interview and get the coupon of a free drink or a free dessert or whatever it is. That's how you make this whole thing go viral. This is getting so exciting. Dogs are getting satisfied from this. Look at that. <laughs> I, was, I was expecting a bigger dog from you, Damien, but whatever. I've, I've got two little chihuahuas, and my girlfriend does have a purse that she carries this one in. <laughs> wow. What a cynical use of animals for a live presentation. My say goodness. hi to Lupita. Bonjour. Hey, I'll tell you what, man, this is, this is really exciting stuff. So Raymond actually asked the question. He's like, okay, so I've already got the video recorded. You know, how do I upload it? And you just explained that. So thank you for, for nailing that question, Barry. Um, yeah, it's as simple as pie, guys. It's just a couple of steps. That's all it is. Just make sure, though, uh, to record this, make sure that, you know, it gets onto YouTube, that, that when you actually set up the, uh, the Hangout, that you click on the button that allows this to go live. So it gives you an embed code that allows YouTube to record it. Just make sure you, you do that. Otherwise, you're just not going to have a recording. The, uh, what's beautiful about this is as soon as you finish the, uh, the, the interview, automatically YouTube will grab it and it will go live on YouTube as well. So you don't have to do anything. The, everything's done for you. Just do the interview. It's already on YouTube. You automatically get the link. Just stick that link into our blog and you are done. It's literally 45 seconds worth of work. And I think I may be overdoing it, probably less. So now we're talking to the actual buyers of GetHangoutLocal.com right now, guys. And, and uh, what I want to really help them with right now is really what happens on Monday morning. You know, um, you know, obviously, the obvious is take the training and take your notes and figure out the best execution plan. But what are the top three things we're doing on Monday um, to really just really stop thinking about it and start taking action? and actually making the strategy work. I think Mark's a great person uh, to ask that question to. I'm going to throw in just my, my couple of cents right now, and then Mark, you, you're going to come up to here. The mindset stuff, too. I mean, part of, part of you know, waking up on Monday morning and making a difference is getting in the mindset, too. So feel free yeah, to do that. Absolutely. I mean, first of all, believe in what we are doing, okay? I want you to feel, I know this is true because I've now spoken to so many people that are doing this, that they finally believe in something wholeheartedly this is going to work. That's why we've got a ridiculous number of people going out and closing their initial appointments and then moving into deals because they believe in what they are doing. So number one, you've got to believe in this process. You've got to believe that you can ask three or four questions. You've got to understand the ability that you now have with SEO through Hangouts to really provide um, 
uh, value to local businesses. So number one, I want you to write down uh, on Monday morning when you're back in your office, write down, I believe in this strategy and stick it on your wall somewhere because you need to believe in this because if you don't, it doesn't matter what strategy you're using, it's never going to work. Number two, once you do that, you need to start thinking about the list, your prospect list, the hottest prospects that you could possibly work with. That is absolutely critical. So what I want you to think about are the businesses in your local area that you would absolutely, in a dream scenario, like to work with because you know they've, they've got money, you know they've got a, a significant number of clients, you know they have a great product or service, and you honestly wholeheartedly believe that the local audience would benefit from knowing more about this business. Write down a list of your first 30 prospects that in your dream scenario, just like Mark did, only he went and executed and got the deals, go ahead and write down that list. That's the critical thing. Most people just pick up the phone or just send out an email and they don't think about this. Put them in the CRM, put them in to a content management system so you know who you spoke to, who you sent an email out to, who responded, who's waiting for you, who wants you to get back to them, so you're organized. So that is the next step you need to take. After that, your next thing you're going to do is send out our proven email script. Just send it out. Find the emails for these businesses. Remember, you've got a CRM, so you've got it all lined up. You know the business you want to talk to. You get their emails. You can just do it on a spreadsheet if you want to. Get their emails. Get their phone numbers. You have all those details. Send out our proven script to that individual business. Don't send them all out to all 13 just one email. Send them out one by one. That's going to take you about half an hour to do it the most. You'll see you're going to get responses. Now, if whatever happens, that email is not getting as many responses as you would like, and I'm sure it will, it's just you may not be getting to the business owner or may have the wrong email address, then you could go for the two-step approach that Mark is clinical at. There's no one like Mark when it comes to this two step clinical thing because he taught this actually to our clients Damien knocked their socks off and in fact my fan has just knocked over as well in the excitement here <laughs> but, uh, but uh, Mark why don't you share your two step approach knocking this out of the park if the, the emails don't work as well as they generally do so great right. so the, the, the reality of it is is the email works I mean don't, don't, don't get it wrong I mean you literally can build the business on just sending out the emails but you're going to need to uh, be a little bit more patient uh, because emails show up in folks inboxes they get pushed down their life gets in the way their business gets in the way they have great intentions uh, but they might not get back in touch with you until two three weeks later and you know you want to start setting up appointments this week uh, so follow up with the real phone call that's the second approach I mean it's, it's not difficult and it's not you know crazy just pick up the phone and make the phone call and that phone call Really, what we have found is the best position to take is to just act like you are a, you know, like an assistant, like somebody that works in a cubicle for a big media company and their boss just walked out of the office and said, Mark, I need you to fill up this interview calendar for me next week. And then he goes back into his office. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the, on the phone with the dentist explaining why they need to do it. I'm trying to, answer, to do what my boss asked me to do, and that is, fill up this calendar. So I call, I use the this, 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 this script, the simple script, which is basically the email script, just kind of made into a phone script. We see you guys are doing great stuff in the, in the community. We recognized you. We have a local community blog that we want to feature you on, and we'd love to do an interview with the boss or the head honcho in charge. Do they have a few minutes so I can talk with them about setting up an, 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 an interview? If the um, gatekeeper has a couple of questions, you answer a few questions. But you're not trying to sell them anything. If they have any pushback, just say, hey, not a problem. If it's not right for you, not a big deal. There's, I've got other folks on my list that I've got to call. We've got a limited number of slots available for next week. And just I was reaching out to find out if, if this was of interest for you guys for some free publicity and free press. And then move on to the next one. But what you're going to find is if you talk to 30 business owners, 15 to 20 of them are going to raise their hand and say, yeah, I, I'm interested. I want to do the interview. So follow up with that phone call because it really does just, it, it, it allows you to stay in control over you getting your appointments and you getting those interviews set up as opposed to waiting for them to actually get around to their inbox. A lot of these business owners don't check their email until 9, 10 o'clock at night when they finally get home and they're dead tired and they've got all the intentions in the world to respond to it in the morning, but when they get up and they get to the business the next day, they've got all kind of stuff that's happening that they totally, totally gets them preoccupied or, or, or out of focus, and they, and they lose that, 
um, enthusiasm. So hit him with the phone call. That changes everything. Did we lose Barry, Damien? Uh, maybe for a oh, second. Oh, no, there he is. There he is. So really, you know, what I would say is on Monday, just make a commitment to yourself that it's going to be a much different week for you. And make a commitment that the action steps that you're going to take are going to be very different than before you join this program. And really, on Monday, wake up a little extra earlier. I mean, again, th assuming you don't have to get up at 8 o'clock and go to the J-O-B, okay? This is, I'm assuming you're working out of your home, and it's really about how you're going to move forward with this program. But I would wake up a little bit extra early. You know, get, get a workout in. Get a workout in. Feed yourself. Feed, fuel the tank. And then... Look, just set out and do the simple stuff. Just set out and do the simple stuff. Call the low, the low hanging fruit. Focus on the low hanging fruit. I, I wish I had this system, this strategy, two years ago when we kicked off Go Mobile. Remember, Mark, when we kicked off Go Mobile, when we were teaching people the easy, easy way, go after the low hanging fruit. Imagine if this was a part of my training program when you joined us way back when. It would I mean, be right? Totally I mean, different. <laughs> it, it, this is this is almost this is almost criminal. It's so easy, you know. It's yeah. like it's like yeah. it, the reason why I say that is because there's got to be. It, it's so easy to get through the gatekeeper and to get to the business owner. There's got to be something wrong with it. What's what's illegal here? No, there's nothing <laughs> here. It's just that Google, they're amazing, and they crank out some amazing technology. And when you work with guys like us that try to find ways to exploit technology. And when you work with guys like Barry and I, and Mark, who's been a part of our mastermind as well, and we all share strategies, look, this is, this is what it's all about. It's about leveraging technology and making it happen. And boy, did we make it happen with this system right here. So on Monday, it's a new week, it's a new world for you. And try to get, what do you think, Barry, or Mark, actually for you? What, what should be the goal? Is it three? Is it ten? Is it two? Or is it just the one commitment to do an interview? What What are we looking for? Let's give them a realistic goal that they can set. I'll just I'll just jump in and say what you what they, you, you crawl before you walk, walk before you jog, jog before you run, and don't 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 find what don't like you know find one business that you think is a great business and then pick up the phone and start to call them because you, the pressure is, is is psychologically on you to succeed because. You don't know who else, who else you're going to call next because you haven't really built that list. So follow what Barry said and put a, a, a list together. You know whether it's ten prospects or twenty prospects or thirty prospects, whatever you're comfortable with. Get a list first and do a little research on that list. Don't just get a list of names out of your head. You know whether you get it from your low hanging fruit. Go online, see what people are saying about that company on Yelp. See what's going on in you know on their website. So when you do call them, when you do reach out to them, you can say, "We see that you're a great restaurant because," and then reference something that you found in your research. And if you're getting any pushback or any kind of hesitation or any objections from them, the the the, the pressure is off of you because you've got somebody else on your list to call. You're totally okay with moving on. And I actually want to take some more pressure off on on them right now because you know. Go about this like you can't screw up, okay? You're going to call 10 people, and you're going to ask them, hey, would you like me to promote your business and drive you new customers? Okay, so, so already you're going to have a good reception to, to questions like that. So you cannot fail. You can only practice, okay? You've heard me say over and over again, you cannot fail. It's only practice. So go in with a no-fail attitude. It's like, hey, you know, and like, like Mark's saying, if this Chinese restaurant doesn't jump on board, the other one may. So I'm okay with this one not jumping on board. Go out there like you're going to make a difference for these local businesses. Go out there in the mindset. I love that strategy, Mark. You know, I was thinking about your business last night while in bed. <laughs> I was thinking about your business while I was in the shower. Or, you know, I was in the sauna doing my 30 minutes, and I was thinking about your business and how we could make it an even better business. And I know that there's more people in this local community that need to know about your business. And I really want to help you do that. So I'd like to interview you and then just, yeah, you know, boom, go right into it. I, I just love this strategy, guys. Hey, Barry, if you could do us a big favor, um, do a screen share for me if you can take a minute to pull up and give everybody – uh, a demo on that coupon again, that viral coupon and why it works so well because I'm sure there are folks here that are on the Google Hangout that haven't even seen our webinar. Um, so Absolutely. I want to make sure they see that technology and see why it's so powerful. Okay, I just need to make sure I actually am showing the right, can you see me now? Can you see my uh, screen? 
All right, guys, you see, do you see, uh, Mark, can you see uh, the landing page? Yep. Okay, so it's really as simple as this, guys. Basically, once you've gone into your, uh, into your area hangout uh, account, you simply you're going to create a, uh, a hangout, and it's as simple as this. It automatically is going to be created. And here is the Hangout page. It's just, it's done for you. The video that you had, just put in the link. It will show. Obviously, it's not going to have a, a video of David Beckham or some other lady there. Uh, it's going to appear immediately on your blog. Now, to create that free coupon, it really is a piece of cake. And I'm on the wrong page. Here we go. So, I mean, it really is a simple. Let me just show you uh, an example very briefly. That's the example you're looking at right now. So, I'm going to show you how simple it is. You simply you create a new category. So if you're talking to restaurants, you want to put it into the right category. So be in a category of restaurants. You can create a category here at the top just by clicking on new category. You create the coupon. Very simple. You just add new coupon over here at the top, and it's just a couple of things you fill out, and it's done. You put in the, the, the business. If you, it's a new business, you add the new business at the top. Simple as that. You put in a title. You put in that YouTube URL, which is for the Hangout that you have done. Simple as that, and you put in the copy that you want to be seen on the page. You click on Clay at Save Changes, and voila, you have automatically have got this page already set up. The coupon is already there. Now, the beauty of this coupon, guys, is when you claim this free coupon, I've already claimed the free coupon, so it's not going to work for me, but when you claim the free coupon, let's see what happens. You're going to actually, this is from a new account, so I can actually just put in your name, last name, and delivery email. That's building an email list immediately. Then you click on, the person's going to click on the coupon for free, and what happens, let me show you something. You guys haven't seen this before, because when we did a live uh, session together, so uh, people joined uh, that coupon. I want you to see the power of this thing. There is like 130 people claimed it. Okay, but look what happened as a result of that so-called business. Remember, this was just a test. Suddenly, an advertisement on Facebook on the very top of the Facebook page of the person that clicked on the redeem. Look what happened. That advertisement went in front of on the webinar went in front of over 40,000 people. Now it's gone up to over 50,000 because even though we were talking about a fake type of, of advertisement, because it was for a test page, I just wanted to show you guys how it works. Suddenly, we're now up to 50,000 people because some of your friends or people that claimed it and saw it, they charged over there and they themselves wanted to claim it, even though it was a bogus offer. So can you imagine if it was a real offer for like a real business in the local area, a real two-for-one in a restaurant, a free movie ticket, two-for-one in the local movie, 5% uh, off a, something that people really want to get their hands on? That suddenly goes viral, and that happens immediately and automatically as soon as someone clicks on the uh, claim free coupon. When they claim it, automatically it's going to be an advertisement that's going to show up at the top of their Facebook page, uh, and that's going to go in front of all their local friends and family. You get virality on the spot without having to do any sort of work. I mean, if that's not powerful, what is? What I love about it is not only is it extremely impressive. I mean, this technology is very, very impressive. But it gives you that first easy sale. It gives you that first no-brainer, natural, oh, by the way, would you like to offer a coupon? I think it's a great way to leverage this interview that we're going to be doing. And I have technology to help you do that. It, it creates that. What we, You know what we call in the sales business, we call it the chip shot. It's like, you know, it's not the grand slam yet, or I didn't do the long drive. It's just a little chip shot. If you can get them to agree to $300 a month for the coupon or $200 a month for the coupon or whatever, that is such an easy hurdle to jump. And it's just so natural and it's so impressive and it's a part of this program and it's just a precursor to all of the other stuff that you're going to be selling them to help them with their business. That's what I love about it. I mean, it could be anything else, Barry, and it wouldn't work as powerful as the coupon because, I mean, it could be any technology. But the fact that I'm going to do an interview for you and you can offer a coupon, which, by the way, I have amazing technology that helps you do that. It's the perfect fit. I'm so glad you threw it in this offer, and I'm so glad you waived the monthly fee. <laughs> can, can I throw in a little another? I mean, I, there's so many tips that I can share with regards to actually getting out there and doing this. Um, we're, we're, we're kind of, you know, just 
given the farm out here, Damien, so let's just keep it going if you're cool with that. I'm totally cool with it. I do want to know who KTAL Bright is. He's been making some quotes, uh, posting some quotes from my man Grant Cardone with a 10x rule. I want to know who you are, KTAL Bright. There we go. <laughs> um, you know, now I now I lost now I lost my tip. <laughs> um, um, the uh, goodness gracious! All right, come back to me. That, that, that cut. Take two. <laughs> it just shows you guys. Get. I mean, do you imagine if we thought this was a Hollywood production, we'd have to start this all over again? So I'm glad we didn't follow up. Mark said that everything has to be absolutely perfect. Otherwise, we're gonna have to scratch this. Google Hangouts is brain fart friendly. It is. <laughs> totally. totally. So, See, uh, exactly. Now it's getting fun. All right. Now that it's getting fun. It'll come back. It'll come back to me. Keep talking, guys. It'll come back to me. I'll chime in in a minute. <laughs> All right. Get some more juice, Mark. Get yourself some more orange juice in there. Yeah. At some point, uh, Barry, what I wanted you to do is, is I wanted you to go ahead and um, show them the offer and what they get. Again. Half the audience probably missed the webinar or the replay. So at some point when you're ready, I just want you to go through the offer slides and let them know all of the value that's packed in this gethangoutlocal.com that's going to help them do this tomorrow. Absolutely. I'm, uh, I'm ready when you guys are ready. Okay, let's just check back in with Mark to make sure that uh, he hasn't stumbled back on his idea there. God, brain, I fart, that up. brain fart, dude. Brain fart. It, it'll come to me. I mean, I forget what what Barry was just showing the coupon, and and something triggered me to say, oh yeah, let me chime in and, and say this. But um, go ahead, go ahead, Barry. I'll, I'll it'll hit me. It'll hit me. Damien just wanted to do that. He's only asked me to do the offer so he could do the drum roll. <laughs> That's all he wanted. Okay, so uh, let me share with you. Hopefully, you're looking at the right presentation. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so basically, let me just go over it. All right, so guys, let me again share with you exactly what you are getting. I'm just going to go all the way back here to the beginning. So basically, you're getting hold of this, your own Google Hangout blog for your local area. This is an SEO intensive blog. I don't know, the word intensive is an understatement. By the way, can you, you see my screen, guys? Yeah, full screen it. All right, let me go full screen presentation. Uh, from Conslide. How's that? Boom! All right. So you are getting your very own Google Hangout blog for your local area. This is SEO intensive on steroids because we showed you the power of a single of, of a single Hangout where we got to the top of Google in 23 hours and got to number three in Google in 29 minutes or 59 minutes rather. Imagine having a blog where you got many interviews on there. This is SEO intensive. Imagine having that interview on a blog where you've got all the other people in different areas putting all their interviews on there, suddenly you've got a piece of real estate in a ridiculously powerful blog. So that's number one. And again, as Damien said, these URLs, I just want to bear, just tell people about the URLs. Think about your local area. You don't need to get Dallas uh, dot or New York dot area hangout. You don't need to get that because you can break this down into a local town or into different districts. Think about exactly which area you want to conquer and my greatest suggestion is choose an area you feel you could conquer as opposed to a massive metropolis that's you're never going to conquer just by yourself in, in one go because I want you to build this thing up. Now the, you've got a proven design within this blog and, and the beauty of it, the way it's set up is that it really entices your audience who can be watching these interviews not just it's going to be easy for you to close deals with local clients, local prospects, because they see they're going to be positioned on a very powerful blog. But also, it's going to those people watching the interview are going to want to be part of this as well. It allows you to upload your interviews, as I showed you, in just a couple of steps. And it's the, probably the easiest way you're ever going to get to having a killer SEO blog. Secondly, uh, you're going to get all the proven lead generation tools that you can use right now to land the best interviews. Everything. You're also going to get, not only are you getting all the scripts, but also, once you do the interview, you're going to get all the professional design business cards, flyers, etc. So you can literally give the business owner what they need to spread the word about the interview so you bring people to your blog. And guess what? That positions you as an expert in front of their clients, and you can build yourself a list of local clients as well. 
So you can get the very best local businesses to interview. Even you're going to get the email script that you need to send out, so you don't even have to pick up the phone to call to call a cold prospect. It turns you into a magnet uh, in your local business uh, who want to get more exposure and. Because you have the power of this thing, it puts you into the driving site, the driving seat rather, for the very first time in your bid business. There's training already there in the members area. It's loaded with lead generation secrets, how to turn in the interview into cash, upsetting secrets, which we, we, we spoke about during this hangout as well, how to land the very best interviews, plus the exact questions you need to ask in order to make the interview work, even if you are brand new to interviewing. Also, thanks to Mr. Zamora, you're also going to get our coupons edition for Eric. Hangouts. Yes. Eric, give me a favor. Yes. Are you changing slides, Mark? Is he changing slides on your end? Or you... yeah, yeah, I am changing I, slides. I, I, I don't see. I, I still see the very first slide, and it's not even in full screen on my Yeah, side. it's not in full screen. So if, if you know what it may be, just go ahead and do it not in full screen, and then just make sure that we're seeing the change in slides. All right, let me see if that works. Is that better for you guys? Yep, we're back on it now. And just do it in the, the small screen, that's fine. All right, no worries. Plus, thanks to Damien. <laughs> Thank you, Damien. Thank you. He's a uh, ham. He's a ham. <laughs> yeah, we basically, we, we spoke, Damien spoke to us, asked us a very simple question. He said to us, all right, hangouts are cool. You can nab and get a foot through the door. That's brilliant. But how do my clients, how do we make sure our clients make money? I said, well, it's very simple. We've got a viral uh, coupon system that makes it work. So Damien said, okay, this ain't happening until we stick coupons in here because I want my guys not only to get a foot through the door, I want them making deals and making money for this. So we went back to the drawing board, got our entire team to work on this so we could implement the coupon system within the Hangout system. So this is pre-built for the first time ever. You're getting access to coupons, addition banged in immediately into your members area. It allows you to build viral coupons on the fly. It creates proven to convert. Viral pages integrate straight into your blog. And of course, it allows you to create these irresistible offers for your, your, for your new interviewee. And that is an immediate upsell that you should be selling to your interviewee and it's going to position you as a local marketing expert simply because you understand how interviews work and how your local business can turn that interview into money and now you have a way to make it into money for them. So that is super duper powerful. So you're getting access to all of this stuff. Not just you're getting the uh, your blog, you're getting the lead generation pieces as well. You've got the killer content that's already in there. Email direct response pieces so you don't even need to make a phone call. Plus we're going to throw in some uh, Facebook time images as well which someone used in our webinar to close a deal whilst we're on the webinar. Plus you're also getting the coupons thrown in as well. Plus as Damien alluded to before, we have thrown out the door. Not only will you not be paying $997, but you're not going to be paying a monthly fee for coupons. You will not need to do that you immediately. You'll be getting access immediately for just $697. No more fees whatsoever. It's a one-time deal. That's it. No continuity whatsoever. And this, again, is something that uh, Damien uh, was really, really... Uh, explicit about it. You want to make sure that that's what happens, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So you're getting your hands on a ha on a premium hangout plus all these business uh, and the, the URL for you, those of you who don't know it. It's all over uh, the screen right now. Is gethangoutlocal.com. Gethangoutlocal.com. Now get this. This is your last chance. Okay. We we uh, we did a webinar earlier in the week. We did a replay or two. And uh, we decided to do this fulfillment and let all of you fence sitters, so to speak, come and join so you can see and see Mark in the flesh and actually learn from him today. And I hope you are inspired. And uh, this is your last chance. This is your opportunity to join in on this. And one thing I want you to think about, just like with mobile apps, you know, we brought you first to market with mobile apps. Think about this. You will be one of the first to market using Google Hangouts to secure appointments to land local business clients. This is new. This is the time to get involved. When do you get in on a hot stock? In the beginning. When do you get in on a new trending opportunity? 
in the beginning, not three years later when it's completely played out and it's no longer effective. And right now, none of that exists with this Google Hangout technology and the strategies that Barry and Roger are going to teach you. So right now is your opportunity to make a difference for yourself and to make a difference for your local community and to give back to your local community. Go and pick out the businesses that you think the local community really does genuinely need and should hear about. And let that be your, your motivating factor first. Get the, get the community built and then just start like Mark, then start setting your sights higher for the car dealerships and the golf courses and the bigger business, the plastic surgeons. Because remember, you're, you're, you're approaching these big businesses with big budgets with a no-brainer proposition, planting future seeds for big, high-paying clients down the road. So this is your last chance to get in on this, guys. Get hangoutlocal.com. You can see it right there in the lower third. Before we let them go, guys, before we let them go, I want to give them some more nuggets. I know, Mark, you finally remembered what you've forgotten, and I know you wrote it down. You're ready to share that. But also, I want to make sure that everybody today just leaves with some great content. So let's spend the rest of the time. We've done the plug. We've let them know. We've given them a chance to get in. No more selling on this. You're either going to do it or you're not going to do it. You're going to join us or you're not going to join us. You're going to make a difference and take action or you're not. It's totally up to you. We're here for you when you're ready. Mark, let's give them some more juicy content, whether they follow this program or not, that they can go out and make a difference tomorrow for themselves and the local businesses. Excellent, excellent. And I did remember it. And let me just say, I know you said no selling, but guys, by all means, Get hangoutlocal.com. I mean, don't, don't, don't delay it. It is the ch business changer that you're looking for. I can attest to that firsthand. All right. That being said, we talked a little bit about you know some of the ninja strategies. Think about this as as both um, Damian and Barry alluded to. What you are trying to do is you're trying to become a local community influencer. You're trying to demonstrate to the local community that you are a beacon in that community. And as you start to grow this business, you're going to find that you are going to have to scale it. And basically, scaling means that you increase your team. You bring on people to help you out so that you can accomplish more. And hopefully, it's clear to you that all the steps we've talked about, they're dead, brain dead simple. Anybody can do it. You can get somebody to do the research and find the hot top companies in your area. You can get somebody to jump on the phone and set appointments for you because literally they don't have to know anything about anything other than I've got to set an appointment period. You can even get people to help do interviews with you. If you're able to get two or three other folks on your team to do interviews, now you can do two, three times as many interviews each month. So scaling the business is really, it's that natural process that happens because you're not going to have the time to do all the stuff all over again your second or your third month. And here's the secret. I'm not talking about going out and going overseas and getting a like a Filipino virtual assistant to help you with your research or, you know, uh, you know, a high-end telemarketer to help you with your phone calls. The best thing to do is go to your local area and hire a college kid to work from their dorm room to do some research for you. Go to your local area and get a stay-at-home mom to make some phone calls for you because what have you just done? You've bought jobs to the community. Now you can even approach the traditional media and tell the media, I'm bringing jobs to the local community, and they're going to want to interview you. Yes, <laughs> yes that's huge. And that, <laughs> way to test this thing, for sure. That is, that's exactly it. So, yeah, that was, that, that was the strategy. I mean, literally, you, the, the, the absolute, I mean, the, the world is your oyster. I mean, you can do anything and everything with getting started, getting off, the, off the, the, the starting blocks and actually starting to run around the track. It's just that simple and it's not hard. And as Damien said, you can't mess up. You're just going to practice. There's way more businesses out there that you can reach out to than you can actually imagine. Bottom line. I, I want to touch on the, the you can't fail. I wanted to expand on this earlier, but now that you reminded me, I want to come back into it. You know, what, when you actually go out there with something that you know they need, they can benefit from an interview. They can benefit from offering a coupon, and they can benefit from getting new customers. You already know that. So it should be real, um, how can I put it, real um, non-threatening territory for you to walk into. You're going to have, you know, you know that they need those three things. So 
when you start having the conversation about do they want to be interviewed, try anything. Don't worry. Throw it up against the wall and see what sticks. Be, be thinking about their reactions to the various things that you've said and, and talking about this interview and closing down this appointment. And you're going to learn all this stuff in the training, okay? But if it doesn't work, then just make a mental note of what you thought didn't work so that when you go to the next prospect, you've got that polished up, okay? So you can't fail. Every time you make a contact offering them the things that you know they want, if it just doesn't happen, it's okay. They helped you by giving you the practice that you need so that when you talk to the plastic surgeon of the car dealership, you got all that stuff ironed out. Right now, it's time to go out and just practice. It's easy. Now, if I was sending you out selling vacuum cleaners door to door or selling carpet cleaning door to door, well, that's that's a little more difficult. You're going to get a lot of door slams, and I, you know, that's why I'm not telling you to do that. That would be very difficult to try to motivate you to go out and do that. But to go out and do this, this is a no-brainer, and it's real easy. And every single person that turns you down, which again, I mean, again, I, I find it hard to believe that they turn you down unless they're all over CNBC and NBC and Fox already, and they have the marketing team. And local businesses don't have this stuff. This is not. Local businesses don't go out and just, I mean, maybe some car uh, dealerships and stuff and big, big time business, local business, but, you know, they don't have that stuff. So I find it hard to believe that they would turn down wanting to be interviewed. Listen, the only thing I can think, Mark, where a business owner may not want to be interviewed is because he may not want to spend the time to be interviewed. They have staff that can be interviewed, though. You know, if, if they have staff or they've got a, 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 an account person, a counter desk person, or someone else can do the interview. Obviously, it's optimum that the owner do the interview because it is definitely creating relationships with the prospects to induce them to be customers. So we, we like that. We suggest that. What are your thoughts on that, Mark? What are your thoughts on having anybody do the interview on behalf of the business? It, it, that's interesting that you brought that up. I actually have a, a gym, uh, you know, like a 24-hour fitness type of gym, and uh, the uh, owner is, owns a franchise, and he has six or seven locations, and uh, he is uh, he would he would much rather that I interview the general manager at the location than interview him about his franchise because he's really just running a franchise. He's not really managing the gyms. He doesn't know what's going on in the gyms. He doesn't know what new equipment they have in the gyms. But his local general manager at the different locations do. So he put me in touch with the general manager at the, at uh, the specific location, and that's who's going to be doing the interview. So it's absolutely important not to necessarily have the title of owner, but have the, the, the person who has the best knowledge that can help really educate the marketplace about what makes this gym or this business or this restaurant cool, unique, interesting, and fun so that the interview actually comes across as educational and interesting for the viewer. Did we lose Barry? Um, oh yeah, I did, but yeah, I don't see him I, down there. I'm still here. Oh, oh, you you you, you muted your your, your video. You look handsome. Yeah. <laughs> you look a little pale, Barry. <laughs> there you are. All so, right. Barry, what about any final words from you as we approach the uh, two-hour mark of this Google Hangout? Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna say we've sold a lot of a product over the last two years. Roger and I, Roger's a very successful offline business in Ottawa. We've sold multiple great suggestions of foot it through the door strategies. Uh, and we've got a lot of success stories from our clients have gone out and made things work. But there has never, ever been something like this before. I mean, that's my experience. Damien, we'd be working with you. You've never experienced anything like this. Mark is a seasoned professional going out there, has never seen anything like this. And yeah, we have I a bought all of your stuff, Barry. I bought all of your stuff, seriously. Uh, I and know. This one, <laughs> has, this one has completely changed the entire landscape of what's happening here. Absolutely, bar none, hands and, down. And Barry, I don't wanna, yeah. Barry listen, I've got to add to this, too, because with our over 7,000 resellers now across the globe, we've put a thousand mobile applications into the marketplace, over a thousand mobile applications wow. in the marketplace. I can't imagine what the number would be like if we had this strategy like I was telling Mark at the beginning of our, our launch a couple of years ago. We'd have thousands of apps because this is the precursor to all that stuff. So anyway, go ahead Barry with what you were saying. Well, I just want to say that what you and I have discovered together, working together now for so long over the last 18 months, 
is social and mobile go together in a way which is just, just incredible. And what we're going to see, and anyone that's on this, I, I'm just going to be upfront about this. Social and mobile really marries with one another. There is a integral connection between the two. And what we've seen, which is why I can see, Damon, you're so enthusiastic about this, and we are very enthusiastic about this, is the combination of working this and that together is unstoppable. You have an incredible upsell right there, Damien. The mobile, which fits in. This is a foot-through-the-door strategy. Connects with mobile in a crazy, crazy way. So, I mean, it's, it's incredible. And this is the foot-through-the-door strategy that you've been describing, and that's why we're so excited. Excellent. Excellent. Well, man, this has been fun. Did you guys enjoy this Google Hangout? Give us some interaction. Tell us. Tell us. Where's the clap? I want to hear the clap. Yeah, here we go. Oh, I don't have that on. But <laughs> Here's the thing, everybody. You know, tell us what you think. Did you like this Google Hangout? Do you like Mark Campbell? Do you like Barry Plaskow, Damien Zamora, whatever? Because one of the things I want you to do is tell us in this chat roll if you think that Go Mobile rocks, Go Mobile Solutions. Use the keywords. If you think Barry Plaskow is awesome, use the keywords. Damien Zamora. And I'm teaching you this because this is something that you're going to want to do long term with your Google Hangouts and when you're doing the Google Hangouts. Because what happens is that's how we get the keywords to start indexing and pointing back. So Damien Zamora can use a boost, Barry Plaskow can use a boost, Mark Gamble can use a boost, so can local mobile domination, whatever. Anyway, if you love the content, tell us in the chat roll because the chat roll also stays up there long term. So if you think about this, when you're doing this with business owners and they're putting it out there, all the positive remarks that people you know, from the engagement with the business owner. Oh, this is great engaging with you, Mr. Business Owner. I never got to meet you before. This is great doing it. And all the comments are in there. They stay there for people to see in the future. And that all creates social proof and makes people more comfortable doing business with that business. So all that has to do with everything. So thank you guys for participating with us on that. Yes, everybody says they love it. They love the training. They think you're a genius, Mark. Oh, I take that. I, really I take that personally. Yeah, I, I, I would like to say I'm that. Really not. I'm not. Seriously, guys. I here's, here's, say here's the thing, Damon. This is so important to know, right? Because I, sometimes you look at someone that successful as Marcus and think, oh, he must have this privilege or must have this. He does, and I don't mean to say anything, you know, rude about you, Mark. But I want to tell you something. Roger and I are blown away by this guy because he took action. That's and all. What That's we discovered, it. That is it. <laughs> that is it. And. There is nothing unique about Mark that we haven't seen in anyone else. I'm, you know, I don't want to say it in a, in a, in a rude way. I'm just being honest. I heard of him before you did, Barry, and I keep <laughs> taking action into his head, so he was ready for me. Absolutely, absolutely. And what I said before, guys, about social and mobile, small businesses is the biggest trend. Forbes magazine's been talking about this a lot. Forbes says that social interaction with your clients is the biggest thing around today. Everyone knows mobile is massive. This, you're getting that opportunity for your local client to interact with their clients and with your local area in a social way online. Everyone knows that is red hot. You marry that with your mobile and you have yourself a long-term strategy, not just for getting through the door, but also upsetting them like crazy. And that's the beauty of this. That's my final word, Damien. Are you sticking to that one? I'll stick to that till I'm uh, blue in the face. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, thank you, everybody, for joining. It's been a great week, Barry, and promoting this uh, amazing offer. This is nice and fresh and new, and I love being at the start of trends and being right at the front and bringing the whole Go Mobile community right to that front line. So it's been a lot of fun, and thank you, Mark. It's incredible to hear uh, what you've now been able to do with your business since you've stumbled on this strategy. So I'm totally stoked about what you're doing, and I already know what your next year looks like and what your next couple of quarters looks like. I mean, 30 appointments in two days, add a zero to that, and then maybe that 80,000 looks like 800,000. I mean, really, they're, they're, your future looks really bright, Mark, because success breeds success, as we've talked about. Your confidence level is way up here. I remember meeting you in uh, May at the Go Mobile Live event, and you have a way about yourself. Obviously, you're a confident guy, and you're a handsome guy in the whole nine yards, but it's like you didn't have it. You, you couldn't figure out how to get it done and how to actually get the pen to paper and get the cash in the bank with mobile apps yet. And it was really about 
about the approach. It, when we talked, you know, I remember you talking about, well, I just got to figure out, I came to the event to find better ways to approach the prospects because I'm not having luck. And now to see what you've been able to do with this strategy for your business is just awesome. So I'm sure that overnight success for two years in the making. <laughs> For those of you in the community that have been around that haven't been able to make mobile apps work for you just yet, like Mark, this very well could be your ticket. This very well could be your ticket going from having to sell yourself to being able to go out there and offer something that they all want, they all should have, and in a really easy strategy that Barry and Roger are going to lay out for you step by step if you get involved in GetHangoutLocal.com. And just... I'll just, I just yeah, go ahead. I just want to have I just want to have one final parting comment for myself is guys come with the with the, with the mentality of, of, of giving is just that you just want to give be a beacon in your community start in your local area start in your local community make sure that your focus is I want to help the businesses I want to help the consumers I want to help the job market make sure that that's I mean and give when you focus on that everything else is going to fall into place naturally and you're not going to be perceived as a salesperson or anything else like that and guess what they'll be saying about you the same things that I hear everybody saying about me and it's not true I'm not a genius I'm not doing anything special I'm giving I'm helping I'm opening up I'm making sure that there's no there's not any kind of resistance that they have to this and I'm making it possible for them to want to um, try this out and that's really what it is it, it, it's just that simple there's no other magic formula to it excellent well I hope this has inspired you and at the very least whether you join us at gethangoutlocal.com or not I hope that you will also use Google Hangouts in your business no matter what your business is I hope you've learned a few tricks today to how to use this Google Hangout technology it's free it's, it's easy to use and it's very engaging. It's some of the best technology I've seen on the market today for engagement besides the mobile app. It's the absolute best thing that I've seen for engagement. So I hope that you're inspired and you'll figure out how to use this in your business. Um, use it with your employees, use it with your, you know, your, your clients, your prospects. Go back to your existing clients that are already paying you monthly for your local marketing services and give this to them as an added value service. They're already paying you money every month. Now, help get the word out with your own TV show here. Help get the word out to the local community about that business. Go back to the people that told you no. Go back to the people that told you no, and now you have a better way to approach them. You know, Mr. Business Owner, I was here six months ago telling you that you needed help getting mobile optimized, et cetera, and it wasn't a good time, but I wanted to call you again because I actually want to interview you and get the word out to your local community, and maybe we should start our relationship there. So go back to the people that told you no. Go to the people that you didn't have the cojones to go out after and to actually prospect and call. Go to the current clients that you currently have that are paying you money and offer this as a value add. And if you're not in local marketing and you're an info product marketer or you're an internet marketer, look at what we're doing right here because what we're doing right here works and you need to use this in your business. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off and I want to say thank you all of you for your time. Thank you, Mark, for your time. Thank you, Barry, for your time. I wish you and all of your families a happy Easter and a happy holiday and I can't wait to do another Google Hangout with you real soon. And uh, what we like to say at this point, guys, is, Mark, what do we like to say right now? It's... What, what, what? what go am I mobile saying? or... Oh, great. <laughs> go, go mobile or bus, right? <laughs> go mobile or go home, everybody. Go mobile Bucks. or go home. <laughs> Happy holiday. Thank you, Steve. <laughs>